Hello everyone, and welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator video. My name is Sol Vashez, and today we are doing something a little bit different. You may notice that unlike our other Microsoft Flight Simulator videos, we are not actually in the simulator. And that's because this video is solely meant for troubleshoot help. I ran into a lot of issues when I was first installing the simulator, and it took me a few hours in order to figure out how to actually get it running. So this video is to condense all the things that I learned from there if you are having issues downloading the simulator yourself. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your Windows system is up to date. This is the primary issue that caused me to not be able to download the simulator. It's really easy to do. In order to see if your computer is up to date, you just search update here by pressing the start button and then pressing check for updates and then it will tell you if you are up to date. You need to be in Microsoft's most recent update in order for Microsoft Flight Simulator to work properly. You have to be in the 2004 version in order to not run into any issues. I ran into an issue when I had the previous version, I believe it was 1909. In the Windows update it wouldn't check for the update and it would tell me that I was up to date when I actually wasn't needed to do a few little things in the PowerShell in order to figure out that I was out of date. If you run into this, you can always get update assistance, which I will show you how to get to now. If you find that your system is out of date and pressing auto update is not doing anything in the settings, what you can do is you can go into your favorite browser and search for Windows Update Assistant. Once you search for that, the first thing should come up. Once you get up there, you want to download the update assistant right here, and then this will give you everything that you need. So you want to download the Windows 10 May 2020 update. That should pop up immediately and it should be nice and easy for you. You should not run into any other issues, but if you do, here are some of the issues you might run into and how to solve them. The first issue that you might run into is that one or two of the apps that are required in order for Microsoft Flight Simulator to work are not up to date. One of these things could be the Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store will update when you go here. In order to check to make sure everything is up to date, you want to click on this top little icon here. This will get your updates for you. Right now, as you see, I have the Microsoft News app that needs to be updated, so I can just update all. And if you aren't sure that everything there is up to date, you can just check for Get Updates, and it will check for you to make sure that everything you need is updated. One thing that is very important to update is the game bar, the Xbox game bar. If this is not up to date, then you are going to run into issues in installing the simulator. If you've noticed that everything is up to date and you're still having issues, here's another thing that might be causing those issues. You can go down here and search again and search for the Windows Defender Firewall, which turns up right here. Sometimes the Windows Defender Firewall will block these connections from happening, so you might get stuck on download. If this is the case, all you need to do is disconnect the firewall. In order to do that, when you're at this menu, all you have to do is press Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off, and then you can turn it off from here. You should turn Windows Firewall back on once the download has finished. Now there are two more steps that you can follow if you are still having issues with downloading the simulator. First, you can check your date and time, so you can do this by, once again, going down to search, search date and time settings, clicking on that, and making sure it matches up with your current date, time, and location. If this is not the case, then you need to change this and make sure it is set to the correct time, otherwise you will have issues upon downloading. The last thing is that if you tried everything and it didn't work, it doesn't hurt to restart your computer again. Sometimes all those updates need a computer restart in order for them to actually take effect and work for the simulator. So you might want to try that before calling it quits. If you have any issues beyond that, I recommend going to the Microsoft Flight Simulator FAQ where you can search the help center for any questions or you can contact support if you have an issue that you cannot find the answer to on the FAQ. Another thing you can do is you can go to the forums and you can ask people there who may have had the same experience as you and found a solution to your problem. I hope that this video has been helpful for all of you who are having issues installing Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you need any help and anything is unclear to you, please be sure to leave a comment below and we'll try to help you out. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.